Hello there! This is a tutorial for the Instances on Surface projection by Curve. And so if you open the file, this is what you see. You have this sphere with these two weird shapes on them. This is the ribbon that you can make and this is the instancer that you can use. So if we go into the ribbon, if you go to edit mode and then pick the draw tool and click surface, you can start drawing on your surface and then it creates a ribbon with the same normals of the mesh that you project them on. Make sure that you, when you put it on another mesh, you select that mesh here. So this is the name of the object that you project to. So if we take this away, then everything disappears because it doesn't know where to project the curve on. So if we select it again, sphere, you see that they appear again. So with this node, you see it here in the geometry nodes. You can uh, also set the distance or the distance between the elements of the curve. So the resolution gets higher. You can set the ribbon width. Let's make it smooth, make it smaller. You have the offset, so you can offset it a little bit from the surface. If you put it on zero, it's intersecting because it's exactly on the surface. If you put it like uh, 0 0.01, then it's a little bit floating above and it's not clipping. Also have the UV scale with it. You can increase or decrease the UV size if you want to project texture on it. Uh, we have also the crease. Scale it down, you see that it becomes smooth. If you crease it, you see that it gives hard edges. Um, here you can set the material of your ribbon if you want to put another material. And keep corners, you can also round them off. So this is what you can do with a ribbon. Also make sure that you uh, put in the UV name. If you type here ribbon UV and you go to shading and here we have the ribbon, ribbon UV. So it takes the vector and uses it for the UV map to map your texture correctly. So that's the ribbon projection uh, method. We also have the instance uh, method. So if we go into drawing and we draw again, you see that we have all these patches. And that is because I use a grid at the moment. I capture the uh, position of the grid and use that as a UV as well. You can also, uh, by this method, scale it. So you see this, that the same happens. I haven't plugged it, this into the parameters yet. But you're going to use your own mesh, probably. So I'm not setting parameters here. But this is the tool uh, that is being used, the node group. And here you have the same uh, kind of parameters in the node group. So you have the distance, so you can add more or less. You have, um, you can use, if you use a group object, you can use an instance to select which one you want to use. You can rotate the object. Uh, in the X, Y, and Z. Uh, you can also scale the instance and you can offset the instance this way. And if we, for example, take a uh, cone, because we can see the direction of the cone and plug it in and then make it a little bit smaller maybe a little bit more oh, 0 0.05 then you see that it projects correctly and then if we want to rotate it in a certain direction we can do it like this so and now because i plugged it in here it also takes the position and the uv you take an, another object make sure that it uh, uses the uvs that you want so this is the um, ribbon and instance on surface tool and I hope it's very useful.